Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my October book haul. I actually just got home not too long ago from my, ho not my hockey game, but the hockey game that was happening in town. So I went to see that and our team lost. But only by one point and they did really well and they were supposed the like they were going to win but then there were like tons of fights breaking out and the goalie let a couple of shots in and it was really disappointing but it was a, a really good really good game so France you did really well it is way too hot in my room again so I am taking off this jersey that is much better so now I am going to get into the book haul I actually stayed on my goal I did good. I bought under 12 books. That was my goal. I remember in my last month's video, I said I would not buy any more than 12 books. And I am so proud of myself that I didn't. I bought 9 books, which is still a lot, but it's 3 less than my goal, so I am proud of myself. So at the beginning of the month, I went to Chapters to pick up a gift card so that I could buy some books that I had been looking for in the stores for forever. I checked in the Toronto stores, and I looked in the stores here where I live, and I could not find them for the life of me, so I was like, I'm just going to order them online. But while I was there, I actually found one of the books that I was planning to buy online with the gift card that I was buying. So I picked it up anyways, and that was the fifth and final book of the Lux series, Opposition, by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I finished this this month. I finished it like the day I got it, maybe the day after. So this will be in my wrap up. But I also picked up another book because I feel really bad if I just go into chapters and buy one book. It's like, it just irks me if I do. I have to buy at least two books. So I also picked up The Iron Trial by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. And I heard about this from a few people, and uh, supposedly it's like Harry Potter, kind of. Like, there are similarities to it, and some people are mad that there are similarities to it, but I think it's going to be the same, but different. I'm excited to read it. So, this actually, I think this might be on my to-be-read list for November. The next two books are two of four that I ordered online with the gift card that I purchased because I was looking for these for forever and I could only find the second book that I bought, the third book in the series. And if you remember me talking in my last videos, then you'll probably know what these are. It is Unravel Me. No, this is Ignite Me. <laughs> it is Unravel Me and Ignite Me by Tahara Mafi. The second and third book in the Shatter Me series. And the covers are beautiful and I, I'm kind of glad that I ordered them online because the first book that I have of Shatter Me, if you can see it right here, right here, it is paperback and the, the front's all creased at the, the corner because I'm horrible with my books like that. Like they always get wrecked when I put them in bags. But that one's in soft cover, and I was like, I was scared that going into the store I was going to find these two, and they'd both be in hardcover, and it would drive me nuts. It's one of my pet peeves. But I was really glad that when I went on to Chapters, the website, I went and put in my gift card code, and then I found these, and they were both in paperback. So now my whole set is paperback, and they all match, and it makes me so happy that they all match and I actually finished both of these books so they will also be in my October wrap up. The other two books that I picked up with the gift card I got because they were both bargain books. They were both like $5.99 and they're both hardcover so they both would have been like $19 for like full out price. So and they were both books that I actually wanted so I decided to pick them up as well. The first one is Being Friends with Boys by Tara Allen. Ellen Allen McVoy. I've read this on Goodreads a couple of times, like the description of this, and I'm sorry there's another bus going by. They come by like every 30 minutes, so. And I have my window open so it doesn't get too hot in here, so I'm gonna try and talk over it. I don't know how well that's gonna work. But this book, I've read a couple of times, like the description of it on Goodreads, and it sounded really good. I was, at one point, I was gonna pick it up off of Book Depository, but then I found it for 
$5.99 and it was hardcover so I got it through chapters. The other book that I got that was bargain book was another Suzanne Colasanti book and it is so much closer. This is one of the few that I haven't read. I haven't read this one. I haven't read um, the one that I have down on my to be read shelf now and forever. I think I started that but at that point I was in the reading slum so I really didn't want to read anything so I kind of pushed it aside and I'll probably go back to it eventually. Um, so I haven't read that one, haven't read this one. Uh, I haven't read When It Happens, which is another one by her, which I have to get. And I think I might have read Take Me There. Have I? Do I have it? Do I even have it? Yes, I have it. So I have read it then. So the only book by her that I haven't read is this one and the other one that I have. And if there's anything else that I've missed that I don't know that she's written, then I haven't read that either. But I've read pretty much all of her books. The next book I picked up when I was at Walmart with my dad and it is Whatever Life Throws At You by Julie Cross. And it's a baseball book. I'm not into sports. I like hockey. I like watching hockey mainly the playoffs, the NHL playoffs, but I actually really like watching the OHL um, Hockey League. So, I, I like my Frontenacs. They're, they're the team that I like going and watching all the games for when I can. But, I do kind of like baseball too. I've gone to see a couple of Blue Jays games, and I used to play baseball on T-ball, so I kind of know what I'm doing when I'm reading this book. I'm only, I've actually started it, so I'm only 33 pages in, so that's a couple of chapters, but it is about a girl and her dad gets hired as a baseball coach and then she starts falling in love with the rookie um, pitcher that her dad's there to coach and he's really cute and it just, it, it caught my attention over the other books that were at Walmart. So I picked this one up and I am actually really excited to finish it. So it'll probably be in my November wrap up unless I finish it in October. But, but, here's the thing. I am moving on the 1st of November. We're not moving very far. We're moving to an apartment just like this one, but it's over in the other building over there. So, <laughs> we're moving from this one to that one. It's like five minutes away, not even. But that means I have to pack up all my books and take down my bookshelves and move everything. So I can't film a book reorganization video until we're over at the other house. So you won't get a book tour of this sh shelf layout. But you'll see me reorganizing my books and then a bookshelf tour after we've moved. With that being said, that means that I'm not going to be able to film for the last few days of October and the first couple of days of November because I'm moving. All my stuff is going to be packed and like we have to unpack and then my books are probably going to be the last thing I unpack which is pretty sad but I have to get everything else organized before I can do my book. So that means there's probably not going to be videos next week. It also means that there might be a couple of books that I finish in October that don't get put in my wrap up because I'm filming my wrap up after I film this video. So if there are any books that I finish in the end of October that I didn't get to put in my wrap up then I'm going to put them at the very beginning of my November wrap up. Okay? Okay. Good talk. The next book I got on sale at Giant Tiger and it is Whatever Happened to Janie by Carol B. Cooney. I have read the first book in this series. I actually haven't read the second and third book. Um, this is the Face on the Milk Carton series if anybody hasn't read them. I actually read this in grade six, like the first book. So this is the fourth book, and I, th I thought it was the second book, but I realize now that the second book is called The Voice on the Radio, and the third one is What Janie Found. Basically, she gets kidnapped as a baby. She doesn't know it. She's raised by a family that actually isn't hers, and then she realizes that her face is on a milk carton from, it's a picture from when she was like three, when she was kidnapped, and so Basically, the first book was her finding that out and trying to find her real family and realizing she is Jenny Spring instead of Janie Johnson. So there's that. This is the fourth book, and I actually really like these covers to the, the other cover that I had seen was a smaller mass production sized book, and it was red, and it had a picture of a girl on the milk carton. And these covers, I, I don't know if you can see those very well, but they're actually a lot cooler than the first 
cover set that I saw. So I'm going to actually try and find the other three books in this cover so that I can have the whole set and finish the whole set and know what happens. The last book I got at the dollar store, it's, it's, a, it's a habit that every time I go in the dollar store, I look at the book section and I see these hardcover books usually and I'm like, why are these here? I realize that most bookstores like get overstocked in a book and then they'll sell it to the dollar store company and then the dollar store will put it out on their shelves, but there are some actually really good books there and I don't realize how good they are until I've seen them, I'm seeing them and they're a buck fifty. So when I saw this book I read the, the inside quickly and I'd seen it before but I didn't pick it up so I saw it this time and I did pick it up and it is My Favorite Band Does Not Exist by Robert T. Jess, Jess Koenig. I apologize if I just butchered that name like J-E-S-C-H-O-N-E-K Anybody have any idea how to pronounce that? Comment it down below, because I have no clue. Apparently, from what the little inside cover thingy says, it is School of Rock meets Alice in Wonderland in a fast-paced, completely unpredictable novel of alternate realities, time travel, and rock and roll. If your favorite band does not exist, do you? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I'm not really sure what this picture on the back has to do with this book, maybe it's the name of the um, band in the book, is that what it's called? Nope, Euphoria, spelled Y-O-U-F-O-R-I-A, it's quite the way to spell it. I'm not really sure what this has to do with the book, but it's pretty cool. Fire Skull's Revenant, maybe it's like an advertisement for another book, who knows. So these are the nine books that I got this month and uh, hopefully I can stick to my goal again next month of not buying over 12 books because if I can stay under 12 I think that's pretty good considering the amount of books I've bought in the past few months. That's more books than I've ever bought. Like I think I've got most of my books in the past four months because of booktube and I don't regret a single purchase. So with that I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! That spider is still there in my window and I hate it. It's like, it's legs are like stuck through my window screen. I'm afraid to reach up and touch it again. I'm not doing it. It's gross. I'm going to have to get something to get rid of it. Or actually, I'll just leave it until we move because that's always a good idea, right? <laughs> hey guys, today I'm going to be filming a car driving by. That's what I'm going to be filming. So while I was there, I picked up one of the books that they did have that I originally planned on ordering, which was Opposition by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which is the fifth and final book in the Lux series. And there's a bus going by, I apologize. <laughs> I'll wait. I actually think that was a truck, not a bus. It might have been a truck. Oh, ow! No, get out of my back, thanks. I think there's somebody outside my window, so this is pretty awkward, them hearing me talking to somebody, but I'm just talking to a camera, I'm talking to you guys. You can hear them crunching in the leaves out there. The next book I got on sale, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, it's crooked choking myself. I have stupid hockey songs in my head. What the heck? That's the problem with going to a hockey game. That's the problem. You get hockey game songs in your head and they don't leave ever. Leave, please. The next book I got on sale at Giant Tiger I hate buses. I freaking hate these buses. Like, loathe these buses. 